Hello friends, uh, Jeff here with an inbox review. Look what the friendly people of Tamiya sent me. The Grumman F14A Tomcat in 48 scale. Now many of you know, are familiar with the old uh, Hasegawa one and the more recent uh, Hobby Boss one, but they pale in comparison of the Tamiya release. Once in a blue moon a kit comes around that makes me feel like a kid again. In this case, it's the Tomcat. Before I open the box, I would like to point out the beautiful cover art of Tamiya's own Shigeo Koike. Also Tamiya took it upon themselves to leave any writing out or any uh, printing, extra printing on this. If you want to preserve this or keep this, you can easily cut this out and frame it and hang it onto your wall. This is actually absolutely uh, a gorgeous box. Let's see what's inside. First of all, let's take out the instructions. Now I can already see by just looking on the contents of the box about the quality without even taking the sprues out of the bag. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I honestly when I think about assembling the kit I think it will be absolutely a breeze no matter the abundance of parts and there are a bunch of parts so let's see what they actually incorporated into this kit. First of all the instruction sheet very very well done very professionally rendered step by step uh, how to assemble this kit. There is no need for me to elaborate about this, but uh, again, it's, it's, it's so much difference. It set Tamiya so much apart, even with their instruction sheet, uh, the way that they engineered this, this kit. Let's start with taking some sprues out and let's see what they have. First, let's start with the cockpit. That's the first thing I always look at is the cockpit. To me, it makes or break a kit. Maybe I'm the only one with this, with this vision perception, but to me, the cockpit already indicates the quality of the rest of the kit. It's all there. I don't think there is a lot much to be added, maybe a couple of wires here and there, but from what I can tell, with all the detail that they put on the side consoles, that they put on the, on the side walls, this is just ready to build straight out of the box. Before I go any further, the panel lines, the engraved panel lines are just superb they're not too deep not too wide they're just true to scale they're absolutely gorgeous a fantastic meticulously done intricate they have it a hundred percent right with this kit and from what I understand Tamiya went all the way engineering this kit as you well know I'm working on the mosquito also but this is just this is just a, another uh, piece of art as far as uh, uh, in my book even the seats are very very well done uh, it's going to be hard to do better in, in aftermarket because already the detail is so prominent and so intricate that you can still build it straight from the frame. The only thing you need to add is some belts if you don't want to put the pilot in there. Now talking about the pilot, even that, Tamiya went the extra mile to give two really, really nice life looking pilots. It comes with a helmet, of course with a head, but you can easily use that as a helmet too. Fantastic. As I can see here, it's already part of the of some uh, drop tanks, but we'll we'll uh, come back to that uh, once we talk about the storage uh, possibilities. Here we got the second sprue. It's um, identical to the other one. So here we have the engine, or part of the uh, of the engine. Uh, you have a couple options. You have it with an open configuration or a closed configuration, like with or, uh, with or without afterburner. Nothing can be, be done better in, uh, in photo vets or anything. This is just the way it should be. It's also, I don't know if you can see it from here, but you can look at our detailed pictures in this video. Even the thinness of the plastic, they get it right. It's not like bulky or cumbersome. No, this is actually true to scale. So that's a big, a big plus. We have the bottom of the fuselage. Again, very well engineered. They put their sprues in between just to keep everything from warping. The engraving is absolutely stunning with this. You will, you have to really see it up close. You will not be disappointed. This is how it should be. This is that other companies uh, could learn a lesson from this. Then we have the weapons. In the back of the, and on the side of the box, you can see the storage possibilities, what they carried. You have 267 gallon external drop tanks. We have AIM 54A Phoenix, we have Sparrows, we have Sidewinder, so there is a lot of weaponry that you can make, that you can configure and uh, hang it underneath. There are so many possibilities to make this work. Even the fins on the planes are true to scale. You don't have to sand it down. Beautiful, just beautiful. These are sprues that contains uh, part of the wheel bay, the front and the main wheel wells. This is absolutely fantastic work. Tamiya really, really came through on this. I remember building the Hasegawa one many years ago, and Hasegawa is still a pretty good choice 
to do that, but I know that there was a big problem with the intakes. Uh, they didn't fit all that well. It was very hard to to basically reach in there and uh, and make them fit or make them smooth. I did not build this kit and I will do so in a follow-up video. I will build this kit online, but I can already guarantee building the Mosquito and building some other Tamiya stuff, it won't be a problem. This will fit. We have the wings here, the swept wings, and if you look at the instruction sheet more closely, you will see that you can have several different configurations of the wing. Also, you can build it either in the swept or in the open configuration, and Tamiya also included wing gloves for each configuration. So if you put them in the open position, there are special parts to accommodate that. The same thing if you do it in the, the swept position. So they, they did not leave one detail out. They really, really, really made this like it should be, actually. We have the fuselage, all the parts, we have the spine on top, and then we have the two side pieces of the fuselage. I'm just blown away by this. Uh, this is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to build this. We have the clear parts to Tamiya standards. Look how they really engineered this. You can see the extra protective sprues that cover it so it won't scratch inside the box. <laughs> they really did not leave one stone on turn to, to come through, so very, very beautiful clear parts. Even that by itself, it's a masterpiece. We have the decals. It also comes with masks for the canopy. And then we have the decals. It also comes with a color leaflet. As you can see, you can do a few versions, even the Iranian version you can build. We have the, there's a lot of stenciling. And they provided, in their instruction sheet, they provided two full pages with the exact spots where the stencils would come. Stencils are always a pain in the bazongas, but they, unfortunately, they're needed. If you really wanna make it realistic, have fun with it. This kit deserves the uh, the kit of the year award in my book. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful, engineered, Tamiya added right on the money. This is the bomb. If you're a Tomcat fan or you're a fan of Top Gun, which, by the way, made this, uh, made this airplane very popular about 30 years ago, uh, you should have one. Uh, you won't be disappointed. So now we had this sample uh, way ahead of release. So if you watch this video shortly after we aired it, uh, you can click on the link and you can pre-order one. Otherwise, click on the on the link if you watch it at a later time, and we'll have one shipped out to your house. Uh, that was it for now, guys. Uh, Jeffy here signing off.